Dwell very is finally over. Because Dandadan episode 1 has dropped just in time for spooky season. But beware, this episode comes with a warning. There's some dark humor and adult yeah, themes. Why? So maybe don't watch it with your little brother or your grandma. Now let's dive into the weird wild word of Dandadan. So we kick things off with Momo Ayase, who seems like your typical high school girl. Except she's got the world's worst ex-boyfriend. This guy tries to pressure her into <coughs> extracurricular <laughs> activities. And when she's not into it, he dumps her. Honestly, good riddance, right? But mom was feeling down about the breakup, even though she dodged a bullet. And she's reminiscing about her old crush, Ken Takakura. Yup, remember that name, Fox. More on him later. Enter our second protagonist. A super nerdy dude who is obsessed with aliens. He shows up to cheer Momo up by handing her a UFO magazine. But don't call them UFOs, this guy insists they are UAPs. Momo immediately roasts him, calls him a nerd and tells him he'll never make friends with that kind of obsession. But before you feel too bad for him, don't worry, he dishes it right back when Momo admits she believes in ghosts. That's when they make the bet. Momo's gonna prove ghosts are real and he's going to prove aliens exist. Sounds like a totally normal after school activity, right? So they split up, Momo goes to a creepy abandoned hospital to hunt aliens and our boy heads to a haunted tunnel in search of ghosts. I mean, surprise, surprise, surprise. Things get real weird real fast. Momo gets caught by aliens and these aren't the friendly. Take me to your leader types. They strap her to table and talk about needing her help for some, let's just say, reproductive issues. Yep, these aliens are that kind of creepy. Meanwhile, Nerd Boy is running into his own nightmare. A ghost named Turbo Granny who threatens to, uh, steal something very personal from him. You'll know what I mean when you watch it. But hold on, Turbo Granny isn't done. She ends up possessing him after making him question all his life choices. And just when you think things can't get any weirder, they do. Turbo Granny, now possessing the boy, shows up to save Momo from the aliens. Yeah, you heard me right. The ghost beat the snot out of these creepy aliens in an epic shonen style smackdown. But it's not all victory dances just yet. Now that Turbo Granny is in control, she turns her attention to Momo, ready to cause more chaos. Lucky for her, Momo remembers something her psychic grandmother used to do, a weird hand gesture to release her key. Turns out that wasn't just grandma being quirky, it actually gives Momo psychic powers. And just in time too. She uses her new abilities to take control of Turbo Granny and free the boy from possession. Oh. And we still don't know his name at this point. So, with Turbo Granny out of the way, for now, Momo has to stick around this guy to make sure the ghost doesn't come back and take over again. Plot twist time, the boy finally reveals his name. And surprise, surprise. it's none other than Ken Takagura, Momo's childhood crush. Cute dramatic music, or in this case. <laughs> Yeah, you saw that pun coming. So there you have it, ghosts, aliens and psychic powers all in one insane episode. If you like the madness of episode 1, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on the next recap. Things are only going to get crazier from here in Dundadan. See you in the next one.